What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now eight days away from the release of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. And today was an absolutely incredibly huge day in terms of news for Black Ops Cold War, such as information regarding a Nuketown returning, a shared XP and ranking progression system, and much, much more. So buckle up and all aboard the hype train. Now, like I said in my last video from yesterday, today at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time is when players can preload a Black Ops Cold War onto your Xbox One and PS4 consoles. PC players gotta wait until the 10th of November to do so, and next-gen consoles gotta wait until launch day. But again, tonight is when we can preload the game, have everything installed and ready to go for launch day. So highly recommend you guys doing so if you own a PS4 or the Xbox One. But now guys, I'm gonna be honest, I completely failed No Nut November after Treyarch released all of this information this afternoon. I'm not sure if any of you guys else did, but for me, I, uh, yeah, things got messy over here. But anyways, we're gonna be breaking all of this down, starting off with the roadmap of free content. So starting on the 24th of November, we're gonna be getting a nuke town again, absolutely for free. You don't have to pre-order the game or anything else like that. Again, this is going to be free on your game on the 24th of November. And then following next month on December the 10th is when Season 1 is going to be starting for Black Ops Cold War. And pretty much we're going to be getting the standard, you know, free maps, free weapons, new game modes, etc. But also we're going to be getting the new Warzone classified experience. So I'm not too sure what that's going to entail. I mean, obviously I expect there to be more locations from the Black Ops Cold War maps, new vehicles, etc. But as for potential system reworks and redesigns, I have no clue what to expect in that regards. And also we're going to be getting a 2v2 gunfight. I did not expect to see this return in Black Ops Cold War. But yes, 2v2 gunfight is going to be returning in this game. So there's going to be those 2v2 custom maps as well. And yeah, this is just an incredibly insane amount of content we're going to be getting. And again, Black Ops Cold War is literally only going to be just a couple weeks old. Right now, guys, we are living in the best era for Call of Duty in terms of frequent content updates, fan feedback, etc. So yeah, big, big month in November and next month. Also, I just want to point out on the roadmap, I'm not sure what gun that is, but maybe to me it kind of looks like a PPSH, I don't know. Tell me your thoughts down below in the comments if you guys recognize what that weapon is. And then we also are going to be getting a new operator, it looks like, for Black Ops Cold War and Warzone. But again, more information on Season 1 content should be coming out early December. Moving on to information about the Battle Pass and XP progression. The first Battle Pass for Black Ops Cold War is going to be arriving in December and playing Modern Warfare multiplayer will also level up this Black Ops Cold War Battle Pass. However, the items are only going to be usable in a Black Ops Cold War and a Warzone. So Modern Warfare, Black Ops Cold War and Warzone are all going to be sharing a XP and a ranking system starting with Season 1 of Black Ops Cold War in December. And in this image here, we can kind of see some content we're going to be getting. So we got an operator at tier 30, a weapon blueprint at tier 31 and tier 27, double XP at tier 29. So pretty similar to the Modern Warfare Battle Pass stream. And also another really cool thing is for Warzone, we can still use our operators from Modern Warfare. And again, just nearly everything from Modern Warfare, Warzone and Black Ops Cold War are all going to be tied together in this one mega progression system. I absolutely love this, guys, because it gives us more replayability with other previous Call of Duty games. For example, say I want to go back and play some Modern Warfare, give Black Ops Cold War a break, maybe because I was raging a lot in that game or whatever. Well, I can do so and not have to worry about wasting time on another Call of Duty game when I could be playing a Black Ops Cold War and leveling up the Battle Pass there. Again, it's all going to progress together in one Battle Pass. So yeah, this just adds more replayability and it will please a lot of the fans who love Modern Warfare. But yeah, I just think this is really, really awesome. I love this feature a whole lot. Props to Treyarch for integrating everything together. The description for this says, progression builds on a familiar and a similar path to modern warfare while incorporating an innovative prestige system, giving you more challenges and earnable content. Now, tomorrow, November the 5th, we're gonna be getting information on how the prestige system works. So check back onto the channel for a video about that. But players will begin by completing at military ranks, a traditional leveling journey to unlock functional gameplay items. And then once completed, Black Ops Cold War players will enter an updated and improved season leveling that begins at game launch with the preseason. 
and which becomes synchronized with all three games at the beginning of Season 1 on December the 10th. So this progression system is both familiar and innovative, allowing you to level up in all three titles no matter which game you play. Your enlist ranks, which are going to be level 1 through 55, are known as military ranks, and these will be fully synchronized between all three games beginning at launch for Black Ops Cold War players and in Season 1 for Modern Warfare and Warzone players. Now, this universal progression system means that you can level up and obtain XP no matter which of the titles you are playing. And also, not leaving you Zombies players out because Zombies will also share the same progression system too. So again, you don't have to worry about spending time in something else or some other game or game mode because it's all going to be tying in together. Now, your seasonal officer progression is going to be known as Season Levels, which incorporates a seasonal prestige leveling system. Again, more information about that is going to be coming out tomorrow. But as you begin a season leveling, there's going to be an updated interface to this leveling system with aspects of the traditional prestige system, allowing players to unlock and use rewards, including some incredibly cool legacy player identifying items from the world of Black Ops. And again, we don't really know too much details about this, but we are going to be getting more details tomorrow that includes information on seasonal prestige levels, prestige master requirements, seasonal challenges, and so much more. But as for those legacy player identifying items, I have no clue what to expect, but I assume they're going to be something similar maybe to like old Black Ops prestige icons. Again, I have no clue more details are going to be coming out tomorrow. But as for weapon progressions, at the start of Season 1, every weapon from Modern Warfare and new weapons from Black Ops Cold War are going to be accessible in Warzone, including blueprints and camo variants. And yes, this does include Damascus and Obsidian camo. So if you also bought a bundle from the store that includes a weapon blueprint, then that is going to be transferring over onto Black Ops Cold War Warzone. It's not going to reset like a lot of players thought it would. It's all going to be transferring over. But not just blueprint weapons, but every weapon you've unlocked in Modern Warfare, as well as every weapon you're going to be unlocking in Black Ops Cold War, are going to be transferring over. So, yeah, it's planned to continue to be available in Warzone. And there's going to be just a crazy amount of weapon variety inside of Warzone, guys. Like, this is huge. I really want to see what the new meta is going to be like, because we're mixing two weapon eras from Modern Warfare and Black Ops Cold War. So... Who knows what the meta is going to be. Hopefully it's not going to be something crazy like shotguns are going to be crazy or anything like that. Who knows? Um, but also inside of the weapons menu, there's going to be a Black Ops Cold War and Modern Warfare logo on every single weapon. So that way it's just going to be a little bit easier to identify where the weapon originated from. And in this image here, we can see a side by side of the Black Ops Cold War and Modern Warfare AK-47. I thought this was pretty cool. And yeah, again, there's going to be a logo that will tell you which game did the weapon come from. But guys, I want you all to tell me down below in the comments, what are your thoughts about this XP leveling progression system and the battle pass stream? Again, it's all going to be tying in together. What are your thoughts? And also check back on the channel because we're going to be covering the prestige information tomorrow. So yeah, be on the lookout for that, guys. But again, tell me your thoughts down below in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you guys want to see more, feel free to subscribe and click the bell icon so you can't miss out on a single video. Also, feel free to come hang out with me in my Discord server, Twitch stream, and over on Twitter. Links can be found down below. I love you guys so, so much. Have a great rest of the day. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.